The immortal John Hancock here, and today I'm doing a play date update one year later after release. I've had mine for about a year, and this is, you know, kind of the known as the craft beer of handhelds. This artistically designed uh, handheld from Panic. And, you know, I've experienced a lot of different games on this. Today I'm going to share some new games that I've checked out. I've done a few other Playdate videos. You may want to check them out. The link will be below. And I have had some time with the Playdate. And has my opinion changed? My initial review, I had some issues with it. And in today's video, I'm going to be sharing some new games and giving you kind of my updated thoughts about this. If you want to check out another video, my good friend Metal Jesus Rocks, he did a video and a one year update and shared some other games as well. And so you may want to check that out. And, anyways, so sit back, relax. Here we go. If you haven't gone to the Playdate website, or maybe even you own a Playdate yourself, a lot has happened in a year. They've added catalog. However, if you are on the fence about the play date, it will cost more now as the price has gone up to $199, and that's kind of unfortunate. But there is some cool apps that you can use with your play date. I love Mirror, where I'm going to be capturing footage using that on my computer. Pulp is the app that is used to make new games, and many people have. And on itch.io, you can see over 400 different games. That's right, over 400 made for the play date and you know the, the quality varies from game to game but many are free to download and just check out yourself i love that i did purchase all the games and downloaded the games in this video some are free and some are not and so the first one was a five dollar game crank tanks if you've played games such as scorched earth worms or even old school artillery duel this is fantastic multiplayer you can play versus the computer absolutely love this game as it offers a lot of replayability and one of my favorite newer games that i like on the play date they need more games like this and it's just fun and it's a perfect fit with that crank rotating uh your turret then there's escape on this is uh, just kind of an homage to a classic shooter i enjoyed this game free by the way and just just some of the wonderful things that you can check out on itch.io as there's just tons and tons of things to check out. Many of the games you can click on uh, the description and they'll have uh, some video uploaded to see whether or not you want to check it out. But this was a, a fun game, especially you know for the price of free. So next up, Sir Safari, another wonderful game. It's actually free to download. You can tip the developer if you wish, but it's kind of like a reverse Tempest where you're collecting life preservers and avoiding logs and deadly jellyfish but i really enjoyed this and it was a clever use of the crank uh, some games really do a better job with the crank and this is one of them also next up is a free demo and this is cranky driller and i apologize footage capturing footage <laughs> is pretty tough but this is what it looks like it's it's kind of like an homage to mr driller but being something different as you know i thought it was a clever use of the crank as well and it's a free demo to check out one of the better platformers that i purchased was baseball brat bad venture and this is a good example of a play date game being different but still having substance you know i, I definitely see the homage here to a, like a mario game but it's but it has its unique spin that you would expect from a, a play date game and so kind of a weird premise combining you know, baseball with, with a platformer, and and I like it. I, I think this is a, a better platformer. I did purchase this and enjoyed what I've played so far. Next, there's a one-bit version of Celeste, and I thought that was pretty neat. Free to download, by the way. Just another one of the many games that you can download for free and check out. Highly recommend that. If you have a play date, to me, it's, it's kind of a melting pot of ideas and concepts. A little bit over, all over the place, though, I wish, um, I wish there was some more games with substance, but I'll talk about that later. Here is an homage to uh, a Tronica game back in the day, you know, uh, or a Game & Watch, you know, Octopus. But yeah, this is, this is the types of games that you can find on Playdate. 
not my favorite game, but if you like those Game & Watch style games, there are a few out there, some better than others. Another one I purchased was Paging Dr. Floppy. And this is, a, again, another homage to a Game & Watch game where you're trying to uh, save patients and keep organs in the air. Pretty crazy concept, uh, but I did enjoy myself uh, playing this and I thought the graphics were pretty interesting and one of the better Game & Watch style games as it kind of takes its own spin on it. You know, Playdate has a lot of unique, interesting uh, concepts and uh, sometimes they do a great job, sometimes they don't. Here's Catalog. And by the way, if you haven't subscribed yet, over half of you haven't, may want to check out my channel as I offer a lot of content. And getting back to the video, this is Catalog. So they take some of the better games, there's a couple free games, and they put them on a catalog on an app on the Playdate where you can download and check out games. You don't need a computer to purchase some of these games. Pretty awesome. And one of the interesting free games is Recommendation Dog as you're connecting people coming into the door with, with, with jobs. And you know what? Pretty interesting. And I, I found myself enjoying this one. I, am I gonna play it a long period of time? No. But, but the play date is full of those types of games. We're just really interesting concepts. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Another one that works is Real Steel. And I know that Catalog is really trying to offer some of the more different and interesting games in uh, an app where you can check it out on the play date. You don't need a computer to sideload zip files. But yeah, I found myself enjoying this one. Another one that I may go back and play. Not everything works. But this is an example of it uh, showing the capabilities of the Playdate. Core Fault is another one I really enjoy. And I watched the uh, video and it, they, they took inspiration from Vampire Survivors. And one of my favorite independent Steam Deck games. And it was really just nice to see uh, a quality game. I did purchase this. Um, I actually got it on itch.io and sideloaded it. But you can get this on catalog as well. And you can choose equipment, there's upgrades, lots here to enjoy. Really like the music too. They, you know, the programmers behind this really know their stuff and it's well done. I think the Playdate needs more types of games like this and I think they know that. Um, it's hard sometimes though to sift through because there's a lot of like stuff that you can tell is like someone's first programming uh, attempt. Uh, some things made with pulp are amazing. Other things, uh, a little bit more experimental. Um, I still have an issue with the lighting though. I'm gonna show here quickly. Uh, you know, just walking around my house with various lighting issues, not having that backlit screen is gonna be a deal breaker. And I hopefully Playdate can uh, address that in the future as it's an issue for me. Ah, all right. So the plus is there's some amazing new games for the Playdate. And I think they are really trying to evolve it into kind of an indie plethora, an indie pool where many people can just create a game, and, and that shows. I think itch.io is amazing. There's over 400 plus different types of games that you can go and check out, and that is a plus too. Catalog is in its infant stage. I do think it's kind of weird that you can go on itch.io and you can sideload hundreds of games. You go to catalog and it's it seems to be a lot more selective. And I think that's on purpose. But what's cool about Catalog is you can download it directly to your Playdate. You don't need a computer where you have to sideload zip games and, and, and use the, the website. But anyways, um, I still have a major issue with it not being backlit, as I showed. It's difficult to play in certain areas. You have to have the lighting just right. And I think there needs to be more like games with substance. It, it's still trying to be too artsy, I think, at times with a lot of the games. I know it's trying to be different, but sometimes I just want to play a classic game. And I think this is really capable of offering that experience. It needs more of that. But I do think it's trying. It's nice that it has a, a ton of games on it. And you may find some interesting games, especially on itch.io. I'd recommend that, just going there and checking some free games out 
as I, that's what I did for several hours, just checking out games. And I do that from time to time. I wait typically a few months and then I, I, I search itch.io where I can check out uh, new games for the play date. And that's what I recommend. So what do you think? What do you think of the play date? Is it something that you're still interested in? What do you think of that price going up to $200? Does that make you hold off? Overall, I still find myself playing the Steam Deck more. And even at that $200 price, it's in that, you know, Switch Lite category, which I think, you know, really offers a lot more options. You can still play indie games on a Switch Lite and get full color and you get Nintendo first party stuff. So that's my thoughts. Anyways, thank you for coming to my channel. If you like what you see, consider hitting that like and subscribe button and clicking the bell as I'm uploading videos every week. You folks are wonderful and beautiful. Let's keep it positive. This is Immortal John Hancock and you have a good day.